Hi, I'm Gavin Glitzman. Joining me today at Sun HQ is former Crystal Palace striker Ian Wright, ahead of Palace's return to Wembley to face Watford in the Championship playoff final. Righty, the Eagles back at I Wembley. I know, I'm really pleased for them. Um, and Palace fans, I know how much they love a Wembley day out. Um, you know, they really do have a great time. And when you watch them against Brighton, when they were totally, totally written off, can't understand it. And yes, Wilf did come to the fore, done the business, Wilfred, and you know what I mean? I think we're going to need another, another performance like that out of him. Um, I was with uh, Gianfranco Zola yesterday. We spent some time together. And, uh, you know, they, they, they're very confident. Now, I'm not saying that Gianfranco was swanning around the place, but he's got an air of confidence about him, which obviously a world-class player of his, of his stature is going to have. But they, there is a certain confidence to Watford um, being the favourites in this, where Palace, I think, are going in like they did against Brighton, they're not quite, the f they're not favourites in this game, but they have definitely got the capability of, in a one-off game, beating Watford. And obviously that's what I'm hoping for. Um, I'd love Palace to come back up. I've, I've got to be honest as well, in respect of anyone who comes up, I'd be very, very sorry and worried for any team that comes up this season. Um, because it is very, very hard. But, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd just love Palace to come up. It's just, it's just so great for the area and everything like that, and uh, it would be fantastic for the chairman there, Steve, who's a massive Palace fan. And, you know, be, then, obviously, with the, the Doug, Dougie Friedman and, the, and, and the, the Ian Holloway, you know, it was a strange old appointment at the time. You know what I mean? I was wondering what's going on, because Dougie wasn't doing too badly. But, like, Ian Holloway, he is great. I do love him, and uh, now he seems to, like, he seems to have rubber-stamped the fact that he got the job. So, good luck to him. Hopefully it works out for him. Palace's form probably wasn't the best, though, going into the, the run into yeah. the end of the season and, and reaching the, uh, the playoffs. Why do you think that was? I'm not sure, you know what I mean? You get to, you're starting to get towards the line there, Gavin. You know, you get nerves. You know, look, you, lost, you lose your, your, your 30 goal a season man. He will. He's got 30 goals this season, Glenn Murray. You lose him and, you know, things just... You're trying to get to the line, you know. You're thinking of the squad. Is the squad big enough to help you? It's a very, very tough league to be playing in anyway. And, you know, in the end, they got there. And that's the main thing. And they've got a little bit of momentum going in there. And plus, coming off of the, the Brighton result, which everybody expected Palace to lose, and they won. And they won really, really quite well because they've got one of their star players who really turned up. And, you know, it's one of those where, you know, he's, like I say, he's going to need to put in that kind of performance. And then, you know, you, you'll have to see what happens on the day. But Watford themselves, yes, with everything that's going on and the loophole in respects of the, of the loan signs. It, I'm not really interested in that. I just think that they've done brilliantly as well. Gianfranco's done a brilliant job down there. And yes, he'll have his problems if they do win it and come up, because I think there's still an embargo on them in respects of transfers. They can't do anything until the 31st of August, so that's going to be an interesting one for them. But at the end of the day, it's two teams at Wembley, and it's going to be who deals with the nerves and the, of the occasion. You're talking about the 100 and... £20 million game they're talking about. By the time it comes on Monday, it'd be £150, £160 million game. But there's a lot of pressure. But, you know, it's, it depends on who deals with it better on the day. You've played at Wembley. Mm. How did you deal with that pressure? I looked forward to it. You have to look forward to it, because what more can you do? You're playing at Wembley, um, you know, and it's, it's a great occasion. You know, everyone's watching. It's the kind of... It's the kind of games that you dream about playing in. I know that's a cliche, but you dream about playing. When I used to play football when I was younger, and we used to play FA, you used to, you used to always mimic the fact that, like, right, right, and it's at Wembley scores at Wembley. It's Wembley, and it's an occasion, and it's the moments that you play football for. It's the moments that you dream of when you're a kid. And so when you go there, you should try and step back away from the whole thing. And I learned this after going there with, in 1990 with Palace. You step back and try and take as much as it... it Take as much of it as you can in, so as you remember it. And I've done that, because Mark Bright helped me do that. And then, when we went back there, it was even easier to just concentrate on the day. If I could say anything to the Palace and the Watford players, you know, and I'm sure Jean Franco will be trying to get that over to him, and I'm sure Ian Holloway will be getting over to him. Just enjoy the day. You know, enjoy the occasion, but you know that there's a game coming up that you've got to put, do your best in. You've got to be the best you can be in. And that, for me, what you do, you get your first couple of nice touches, get everybody to get a couple of touches of the ball, get the confidence, and then you go from there. Well, so I'm sure Zaha will always be regarded highly by the Crystal Palace fans. He's signed for Manchester United yeah. now. But if he fires them back into the Premier League with a man-of-the-match display against Watford, 
what a way to go out. Well, that's what you'd, you'd hope for him, and maybe that's what he'll be trying to do. You know, he's, um, he's been at Paris, I think, I'm not sure, since he was eight or nine, I, I think. You know what I mean? And he's got the dream move. It must have been terribly hard for him. You know, you get the move to Manchester United, you get loaned straight back to Palace, and, you know, you're a Manchester United player on loan at Palace, all of a sudden, a week before you're a Palace player, you've got the dream move to the biggest, country, biggest uh, club in the country, and arguably uh, one of the biggest in Europe. And, you know, all eyes are on you even more. And yes, he had a little bit of a dip in form, but what he done against uh, Brighton in the big game, on the big stage, is he, he, he came to the fore. He, he showed up, and it's the same what he's going to have to do at Wembley, because he's playing for Man United, and there's going to be opportunities in his career now that he's a Man United player, that these are the stages that he's going to be on. And I'm sure there'll be a lot of people watching him from Manchester to see how he deals with the fact that he's on a big stage. Can he rise to the occasion, which at Manchester United, every single game you play for them, people want to beat you badly. And you have, it's a cup final. You have to rise to the occasion in big games. And this is why I was pleased to see Wilf come through against the Brighton game and score the two goals that got them there. But now, this is the showpiece. This is where people are saying, right, Man United have paid £15 million for him. He's on the big stage now. Let's see what he can do. And that is not putting pressure on him. That is exactly what's going to happen. And all he's got to do, because he's got the ability, is just go out there and just play your game. Don't start the game trying to take on five and six players and all that stuff. No, no, no. Just do your stuff. Do it what comes naturally. Get past people. Just show people why Man United have paid that money for you and blast Palace back into the Premiership. Whatever happens, let's hope it's a great game. Top Righty, thanks for joining Top us. Man. Cheers.